Today, we're cleaning up trash from our paddle board. Let's go. Check out these wild strawberries growing on a log sticking out over the water. Oh. people in a canoe just passed me. One of the people canoeing thought I was fishing and I told them what I was doing, picking up trash, and they thought uh, I worked for the RBG, which is the Royal Botanical Gardens, which is where Coots Paradise, this creek, resides. They seemed a little bit surprised that I was just doing it on my own and I wasn't with RBG. Hopefully it encourages them to go pick up some trash on their paddle. <gasps> oh, there's a frog. I guess it's a toad. Just sitting on this log. Looking around for some pieces of trash, and it's just chilling. Nature. No beavers today. That's a little bit disappointing. We got to come back for a sunrise or a sunset to catch the beavers. This plastic bag was a struggle. Just like that plastic bag, you see a lot of plastic bags in the water that have sunken and are being taken by the current or stream and then they get wrapped around sunken logs and they're really difficult to, to get out. Get hardcore! Shit! I think it's too heavy! I think it's a rock! <laughs> I guess we'll leave that right there! Interestingly, we are finding more trash right here by the side of the road. Clearly the beavers aren't the one littering. <laughs> Ooh, the benefits of being on a paddleboard, you can climb around and be more agile. Success! We're going deep. Come on, come on. I'm so close! Oh no! Damaging the equipment. Sadly not happening now that piece. People are looking at me on the bridge. Pick up the garbage! Oscar the ground! Oscar the ground! You know it's a good day when you're disappointed in the lack of garbage and the items that you found. Last time I came here I had huge, two huge full bags. I found all kinds of stuff from baseballs, basketballs, tennis balls, I don't know why all the balls, fishing lures, rubber ducky, and then your typical stuff like plastic water bottles, foam pieces, which are really depressing because they break into all little pieces and you try and get as much as you can. Coots is looking pristine. And now, even more pristine. Yeah. back home now with the litter and we're going to sort and organize it to dispose of it correctly and collect data for a greener futures and for Great Lakes great responsibility. Let's do it. Not a big haul but every little bit counts. It looks like the majority of the items I picked up this time were plastic bags. Consider your day-to-day -day choices when it comes to the environment. Reusable bags, for example, we would prevent a lot of these plastic bags. In Remington? Remington says you should care about the environment too. 
Yeah. Time to wash up to submit the data. I don't really want to touch my computer or phone with <laughs> these ants. And then we'll dispose of the items properly. Let me know in the comments if you've picked up trash from your paddleboard. It doesn't have to be a big event where you go out to solely collect trash. If you see something, pick it up. Until next time, be kind to the environment, have fun, and happy adventuring.